We have all probably heard of the story that arowanas breed in ponds. But recently, I had a wonderful experience of seeing my arowanas spawn in my tank. Based on my observation, there are five signs that your arowanas are spawning. Of course, for one to achieve this, he must have more than one arrow in the tank. In my case, I have eight of them. Seven Asian arowanas, three of them are reds, two crossbacks, one super highback, and a Malaysian green and a South American albino silver. When I first had them, I didn't have any idea who the males were and who were the females. In the first place, it is extremely difficult to distinguish their genders unless they have already spawned. So in this video, we will talk about the five signs that arrow hobbyists should watch out for when the arowanas are about to spawn or pair up. We will also try to answer the question whether the paired arrows stay loyal with their partners or mates. It all starts with the male chasing the female or vice versa. During this stage, it is frequently seen that an arowana would chase a particular arrow among others in the tank. It might be mistaken as an arowana fight or a test of dominance because, as we all know, this test of dominance thing is a part of an arowana community. However, it can easily be identified as the initial stage of pairing since, like I said, a certain arowana would pick on the same arrow and would go on for a long period maybe a couple of days or even months. Also, keep in mind that it is not only the male arrow who does the chasing. There were occasions when I saw my female chase my male arrow back. So the second sign that a hobbyist must look after is when the male begins to bite the female's tail. This again might be mistaken as a fight or a test of dominance since tail biting is one of the common scenes when arrows fight. The difference, at least from my experience, is that during this stage, the female does not retaliate or fight back. One other thing that I observed was whenever the male attempts to bite the female's tail, the female swam in a slanting position or as if it was lying down. Now, the third is what I call the dance. Once the female submits to the male, the dance starts. It is when the pair begins to swim in circular motion as well as side by side each other. As you can see in the video, the two arrows the male and the female are swimming alongside each other around the tank. The next sign is when the male starts rubbing its body with the female's body and is usually accompanied by a vibrating sound or a sound similar to that of an electric drill. The vibrating sound and rubbing of bodies happen at the same time and you will notice that the male's body would somewhat vibrate too. This act is known to many hobbyists as the lovemaking process. Another thing that I observed is that when the pair of arowanas does their lovemaking, they usually do it in one particular spot of the tank, or maybe at least my pair. Finally, the spawning happens when after a series of rubbing bodies, the female lays the eggs, then after a second or two, the male begins scooping the eggs in its mouth. A disclaimer again is that it does not mean that the pair made love for a couple of times the pair would spawn. There are arowana owners whom I know that had the same experience with me. I mean, They've seen their arrows rub bodies for a long time, 
and they actually talked to someone and heard him say that his pair has been doing the behavior for almost a year, but still no eggs. So maybe the rubbing of bodies is not actually a lovemaking behavior, but instead just part of the Arowana's courtship. So it means that the only guaranteed sign, well at least for me, to tell whether your pair is spawning or breeding, is when you see your female actually lay eggs, then the male partner scoops the eggs in its mouth. But before we end the video, let us answer first the question if an arowana pair stays together forever. The answer is no, they don't. If you have observed the clips in this video, I showed different arowanas involved in the pairing to spawning process. Again, here is a short clip. As you can see in this part of the video, my female that spawned and had eggs with my male crossback maybe a month or two ago is now in a courtship process with a different partner. This time, it is with my super highback RTG. So again, the answer is that they do not stay together forever. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and learned something from it.